triple solar eclipse is finally here and the weather in Maine couldn't look any better for viewing it today. You can see the eclipse takes a path from Texas across the United States to Maine. But why does the eclipse follow this specific path? This is a look at all the total eclipses in North America in the 21st century. You'll notice that they follow somewhat similar, but never identical paths across the country. The next total eclipse path to cross Maine occurs in 2079, and we're fairly lucky to get two in this century. Zero, for example, in the state of Arizona in the entirety of the 2000s. Well, the way we predict eclipse paths is through a very complex analysis of the moon, sun, and earth orbits. It's called the Saros cycle. We know that after every solar eclipse, nine years and five and a half days later exactly, there will be a lunar eclipse and vice versa. So that's how those are connected. Those repeating solar and lunar eclipses form a Saros cycle. Now, of course, Earth sees solar and lunar eclipses far more often than every nine years. So there are always multiple Saros cycles ongoing at any given time. All of the eclipses in one Saros cycle, which lasts for centuries, will follow similar paths on the Earth's surface. When a solar eclipse repeats after about 18 years, the path is essentially the same, but it is shifted several hundred miles. Here's what a Saros cycle looks like on Earth's surface. It always begins at the South Pole with some partial eclipses, and as the moon's disk moves north over the cycle, over those thousands of years, gradually works its way across the planet until it reaches the North Pole, completing the Saros cycle. You can see how each eclipse shown here, for example, the one in 1937 out over the Pacific Ocean, the one in 1991 in July there over the western coast of Mexico, they follow similar paths. They're mirrored, just shifted each time uh, a few hundred miles to the north. So it's a complex science that has been made much easier, of course, with computers these days, but humans have been using that orbital math to predict eclipses for thousands of years. A human in ancient Egypt 4,000 years ago could have predicted today's eclipse right here in Maine. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Christian Bridges.